In this video, we're going to do some addition reaction practice in organic chemistry. So let's get started. First example, we're going to have a three carbon chain with a double bond. So this is going to be propene, which is going to react with hydrogen bromide. What is going to be the major product of this reaction? The hydrogen and the bromine are going to attach to the carbons that are across the double bond. So the double bond is here. The two carbons across it are going to be this one and that one. One of those carbons is going to have the hydrogen. The other one is going to have the bromine. But how do we determine which has the hydrogen and which has the bromine? Let's draw the invisible hydrogens in this structure. So I'm going to redraw it and draw the invisible hydrogens. This carbon is attached to two other things. So if it has to be neutral, it must be attached to two hydrogens for it to have four in total. This one has attached to one hydrogen. There's a concept by the name of Markovnikov's rule where the carbon that has the most hydrogen, in this case the one on the left, is going to get the hydrogen, and the one that has the least hydrogen, the one on the right, is going to have the halogen. So the major product for this reaction is going to have the bromine on the right side of the carbon, and then the hydrogen on the left side of the carbon, but we usually don't draw the hydrogens in bond line structures, so you don't need to include that. All you need to put your final answer is this. What about this situation? What would you do about this? And let's have two different examples. Let's react it with H. I, which would be with iodine, and then let's react it with hydrogen and bromine. In both cases, both of the carbons across the double bond are going to have one hydrogen, so you're not going to have a minor product and a major product, it's just going to be this plus this. But if you notice, these two are technically the exact same structures. If you just rotate this a little bit this way, you'll get this structure. So you don't need to put the plus in a different structure. Your final answer can be that right there. And the same thing for the iodine version. The only difference is that you have an iodine on the carbon as opposed to a bromine. Let's react this with water. What's going to be the major product in this situation? So there are two carbons across the double bond. There's this carbon and there's this carbon. The carbon on the right has one invisible hydrogen. In order to get to four bonds, the one on the left has zero invisible hydrogens. When you have hydrolysis like this, where you have water added to a harder carbon chain, it's generally going to add in terms of an OH and then a hydrogen. The hydrogen is going to go on the carbon that has the most hydrogens already. So it's going to go to that one. And the hydroxide, really the hydro hydroxy group, is going to go on the carbon that has the least hydrogens, which in this case is the carbon on the left side of the double bond. So your final answer is going to look like this. You're going to have the OH here, 
they said it's going to have the extra hydrogen, but you don't need to draw that. So that's what you're going to get. Now let's go over a ring structure again. Let's react this with HBr. What are going to be the combination of compounds that you're going to have? So in this situation, the hydrogen can either go here or it can go there. Because both carbons across the double bond have the same number of hydrogens, no one product is going to be favored. However, because we have a methyl group, you cannot just rotate this and then have them bromine on the other side as well. So you have to draw two structures for it. You're going to draw that and then you're going to draw this and each of them are going to be 50 percent let's go ahead and try this example in this example, we have more hydrogen on the right side. So the hydrogen is going to go on that side, and the chlorine is going to go on the left carbon. So we're going to get this as our answer. Let's do another hydrolysis reaction with a ring this time. In this situation, what you're going to get is the OH portion of the water is going to go on this carbon because this carbon has no hydrogens. And the hydrogen portion of the water is going to go on this carbon because it has one hydrogen attached to it. So your final answer would look like this. Let's talk about this last problem we're going to go over today. What's going to be the major product of this reaction? Because the carbon on the left has one hydrogen and the carbon on the right has two hydrogens, the hydrogen is going to go on this carbon which would mean the bromine would go on the left carbon. So this is going to be your major reaction, or your major product, really. If you want to draw the minor product, minor product you would put major on the bottom of that, and then put minor in the middle of this one. So that's the video. Thank you for watching.